Hey everyone, Fiend Chial here, and we're back. And on today's episode, we are going to install a cold air, like, Bram Air engine intake for our 2015 TDI, uh, pretty much Mark 7 TDI, giving it some extra little girth and a little bit more turbo spooling noises. So, let's get to work, because this is Fiend Chial's garage. So first thing we need to do is pop the hood open and figure out our situation here. Uh, so you'll see here, it's got this. This is has, this is gonna come out right here. This is gonna come out and we gotta unbolt everything from here pretty much. This, everything from here, this way has to come out. So how are we gonna do that? Well, that's what we're here for. Uh, first things first, we're gonna have to unplug our Math sensor, which I have no idea how that happens. I'll get to that. <laughs> That's a first for me. Looks like it's a pull tab. I don't know. This looks difficult. I'm going to figure out in just a moment. Um, we're going to pull that off, unscrew here, unscrew all the torques around here, the airbox. That'll get us pretty much the top half open. That's what will get us to anything else that's underneath that's holding it. And then um, this line here is going to have to move out of the way. And this looks like this is a screwed in here and here. So there's one there, one here. And then we're going to have to look around and see what else comes apart and see what else we have to dig in there to get. All right. So first things first, the mass sensor here, it's simple. You see the little T-clip. You pull this straight up and then pinch down and it'll pull out. Very, very simple. This vacuum line, just pull it straight up and out. So that way, that way this is out of the way. Okay. That is the most important part right now. Now we get our T25. And we unscrew all this here. Gotta give thanks to uh, Matt McDubbin for getting me this set. He actually is the one who bought me this uh, impact gun um, to help us out here at Pinchell's Garage with tools because, you know, poor people, you know, are poor. <laughs> so he hooked it up with the cool little two little impact sets and I bought some ba extra batteries so I can have, you know, some helping hands here to get this job done a lot faster than normal. Oh, we got a T25 right down here as well. So after all of them are unscrewed here, you're gonna have this clamp right here. If you guys see this, this clamp, I get some, uh, some uh, vice grips or a uh, uh, channel locks and then get that going. So we took the clamp off from here you guys can see that nice and clear. Just move this, slid it over to the right or up out of the way. Um, now this box right here will open up. Got an air filter in here. So if you got to service your air filter, that's how you service it. Pretty easy and straightforward. Oh, it's got a sock in here. Interesting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the mass sensor comes out. Um, and the cool thing is it's only held by one screw, so it looks like it's just a turn lock, just like that. And then you need to keep your math sensor, okay guys? Very important. Comes in, and then you gotta factor in the direction of your math sensor. They are very specific, so when you guys are doing these, you'll see there's an arrow right here, okay? That arrow leads to the intake, not 
that way. So another way I know is this mesh grill is always going is the in that way. So that's how you know this belongs here, just like that. Okay, so that's taken care of. Next step now is to take this air box out and then work on the next half over here. So we won't be able to take this out yet. We're going to have to work on the T25s that are actually on the front here. So, one, two, that fell to the ground, hopefully. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I... Okay, cool. So now this exposes this. And then see here, okay, so. All right, so just so you guys know, you're looking, the perspective that you're looking is from the engine out. So I'm out here. So here's the intake, uh, this half. We took the two screws off the top. There's a little clip right here and a little clip here that pulls straight up. You move this hose out of the way and that gets that out just like that so next step is this guy has to come out okay there's a t25 here and a t25 right over here on opposite end so take those guys out that should allow this to pop right out push down yep push down and out just like that nice and simple all right, so now this is completely removed. All that's left now is just the air box that's right here. So you guys can see that right here. This is now the front. Pretty simple to remove. Um, over here on this side now, it's just a grommet here and a grommet there. And you just pull straight up and hopefully Everything pops right out, hopefully. Something's holding it down below. We'll figure it out right now. Okay, so there's another grommet down below. You're gonna feel like it's bolted in place. It's not, it's just really tight. Uh, just make sure this hose is out of the way so you don't yank it out. And just take your time and pull it out. So there's a hose that goes here. This is just sits over here, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. Um, there's this one that goes down below. Uh, this is just pretty much, it just goes down. It doesn't attach to actually anything else that I see. You'll see here, here's the grommet that it pokes into. Um, yeah, I think this is just probably a water drain or something that goes down here. Nothing pretty special at all, but that's the whole air box uh, removal. All right, now that that's been removed, now it's time to install the new aftermarket intake and get them hearse purrs in this bad boy. <laughs> okay. So next step is to install all of this. Now to install this, we're gonna put this in first. Then from there, we're gonna follow up with the, the filter, the actual intake portion, and then bolted it all back together all right okay so this is the push on grommet you just push it in so it goes into place if you flip it under they had the, they give you a rubber grommet for here and for here so these two grommets you have to push them in yourself okay and that's what pretty much mounts it right in place uh, to the factory location You gotta fandangle this little hose. Yeah. Awkward. It's really big.
There you go. So, gotta line it up with the other grommets. There we go. Good. It looks really good. So the hardest part of this entire install is right here. This coolant hose right here. You're gonna have to pull it up as high as you can go, slide it down and under, and it lines up just correctly where it needs to be. Beautifully, just like that. Now, from what I can see, that's already a headache. Is how to service it. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it back out because, um, yeah, it's not as easy it is to take it out that it is to put it in. You actually have to take two. So if you need to clean the air filter, this all has to uh, come out in two separate pieces, um, and it's not that simple. Uh, because there's a screw all the way down here and a screw here that's not really accessible unless this whole box comes out. So, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but it's a it's kind of a nuisance though, because then you got pull this whole assembly out as one just like that and then put everything back in together to, to do the service on it okay so before I install this again um, give you guys a quick breakdown it's super easy there's three screws one two three that hold this piece in you put the intake on the inside of it it's super super simple now what's hard is to get this entire box as one piece inside the car. It's big. So, um, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this going. Sorry if I bump you guys. You gotta move this hose. Remember we talked about this hose. The hose is really in the way, so just be careful. Now that goes in. beautiful now it's back so yeah everything has to go in as one piece it cannot be done as a multi uh piece setup it's it's pretty much you do this whole box one time in whole thing all the way out now as i was taking it out um the grommets down below pop off when you take it out so be very very careful with that guys because you will lose your grommets and then this thing will be all loosey goosey in here. Um, so the next step is to use the coupler that, that's provided uh, to join these two. Um, there's two clamps for that. I believe this is identical in size. Oh no, it's a, it goes from big to small. So, so here you go. So on this one, the coupler this guy is on the box, and then the top one, the smaller side, goes on the MAF. So the two clamps that are provided. Like this. They're annoying, so be careful. I'm 
I might do the clamps afterwards. This has to stretch over. There you go. Gotta have that logo sticking out. So the larger clamp goes on first. Okay, so we got this clamp on. Now I'm gonna slide this clamp over here, the MAF. It's a snug fit, so. Now what you want to do is start it first over here at an angle so you can make it easy for yourself. Then they're going to loosen it just a little bit so I can turn the clamp all the way down this way. So out of sight, out of mind style, you know, looks a little bit nicer. Cleans it up, but it's still accessible. Make sure the MAF is on here snug against the clamp or against the coupler. That way it doesn't come loose. Um, This clamp back up. Just like that. And then the MAF sensor. Plug it back in, push that little clip down. That way you can't pull it out. This guy on the bar, actually, no, I'm sorry, they gave you a new hose. So they gave you a straight hose to plug this in. So, they gave you this. So it goes in nice and straight. Not really great though. Yeah, actually, I prefer the OEM one more than what they gave me. It has a better stretch to it. Yeah, way better. And it's not that kinked, so I'm not really disappointed in that. So, I mean, I can let it sit like that and it still doesn't have a f hard kink. That's still really, really good. So now this is all installed. All that's left now is these two guys over here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it looks like it has like two more bolts that it wants us to use, but I don't see the holes for them in the factory. So I'm gonna be using the two factory ones over here. So they want us to use this one and this one over here. There's extra holes here, which I mean, I see, but I don't think I like. I'm gonna check the manual and see if it wants us to make them. It does not. Okay, that's good. So it does state though, we use the factory screws for these two, which are the shorter T25s. 
right here. That is how you install the intake. Get this stuff out of here. All the factory stuff out. That looks really good, guys. We're gonna give it a listen right now and go from there. So, T25 here, a T25 there. That's it to hold it in place. The two grommets down below and then the two clamps here and the clamp on the inside to hold the intake it did suggest to use the factory uh, an aftermarket uh, hose here but i'm not going to do that we're good it worked really really well now let's give it a listen here we go guys let's see what it sounds like Not really loud, um, but it's definitely going to be an improvement over the stock air box. That's just literally just a filter. Um, so I'm hoping we'll get a little bit more torque, a little bit better acceleration. But I can definitely hear the spoolies a lot more than comparison to before. And more than likely, I can't hear it as much due to the fact that it's, um, how can I explain? Um, not like an open cone filter where you can hear a spool a lot more maybe if i uh, take this grommet out Let's see what that does Let's see if we get a little bit more noises out of this So it's really dark, uh, but it made no difference with the uh, the hole. So I'm gonna put the grommet back in. So we will give you guys a full review with this intake and a Kerma TDI tune as well to go with it to see the big difference between what we had then and now. Uh, before we were averaging anywhere from 36 to 44 miles to the gallon uh, in town and highway. We are doing a 3,000 mile round trip next week to see how this car performs on an adventure. So stay tuned for that guys as well. Thank you so much for watching this DIY and how to install the intake from InGen Technology. 
Big shout out to uh, Kermit TDI for getting this to us as fast as possible. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Peace out and be safe out there, everyone. Thank you.